So today we are going to see about advances in hybrid seed production of rice crop. So now coming to the background of hybrid seed production in rice, the cost factor is the major hurdle. So we all know that these hybrid seeds are way more costlier than the normal seeds. And this cost factor, this higher cost is due to the higher production cost. And hence, the Im and improvised production techniques are to be devised so as to reduce the market price of your hybrid seeds. So in order to reduce your production cost, we need to improvise or we need to advance our current or conventional production techniques so that we can reduce the market price and thereby we can reduce the burden on farmers. So now there are two main approaches to increase the feasibility of hybrid seed production. So the first one is by increasing the yield of hybrids or we can go for the reduction in the production cost. So now what are the advances that are being employed or being utilized in hybrid seed production of rice. So the first one is we can avoid the flag leaf clipping. So in flag leaf clipping the 1 by 3rd or the 2 by 3rd of flag leaf is clipped to enhance cross pollination and thereby increasing the hybrid seed production. But clipping requires more time, money and labor. So if we can avoid this flag leaf clipping then we can reduce the production cost. And there is an alternate for this flag leaf clipping. So we can spray GA3 which will elongate the panicles hence no need of this clipping process. So if the panicles can elongate beyond a point then it can directly enhance the cross pollination by say uh, and thereby it can save time and also we do not need that much labor also. So we can spray this uh, GA3 using knapsack sprayer. So for if we are using knapsack sprayer then we have to uh, get 45 grams per hectare of GA3 or else we can also go for ultra low volume sprayer. sprayer. So as GA3 is very expensive uh, this ultra low volume sprayer requires only minimum amount. So that is if you are using an ULVS then only 15 gram per hectare is required. So now coming to synchronization of flowering. So in this method we will make sure that the male and female flowers uh, the flowering period of both male and female are synchronized or are in harmony so that there is a more amount of seed set. So for this there are mainly two efforts. The first one is staggered sowing. Here two to three times sowing of male parents uh, is carried out at four to five days interval. So this will increase the pollen supply time. So the first effort is staggered sowing and the second one is we can go for adjustment of flowering day. So if you are de dealing with early flowering plants then we need to spray 2 percentage urea solution. So this will delay the flowering by 2 to 3 days. And if we are dealing with late flowering plants we can go, uh, go for a spray of 2 percentage DAP solution. So this will result in 2 to 3 days early flowering. So now coming to the third one that is supplementary pollination. So usually in the rice the natural pollination depends on wind direction and velocity. But we can't fully depend on these two parameters for pollination because these are very much environment dependent. So we need to interfere uh, and enhance the pollination percentage. So the first approach is row pulling. So we can do row pulling and this is most successful in hybrid seed production of rice. So here pulling and shaking should be pulling and shaking of the row should be done 5 times per day at 30 minutes interval. So and the best time to do row pulling is in the morning that is 10 am to 12 pm and also in the evening by 2 pm to 4 pm. So this is how the row pulling is carried out by labors. Just we have to pull the row through this uh, rice crop it will increase the pollination percentage. So the fourth one is widening of the row ratio. So in a hybrid seed field usually a male to female ratio of 2 is to 8 is maintained in rice 
and the plan to plan spacing of 15 cm is followed. So apart from that, the R to R line, that is your R line or your restorer line, those rows can be kept apart at 30 cm and the row to row distance between an R line, that is your restorer line and a main sterile line can be of 20 cm and the distance between the rows of two A lines or your main sterile line should be at 15 cm. So we can follow such a widened row ratio. So this is the field layout that is following a male to female ratio of 2 is to 8. So we can see two lines of your restore line or male line and this is the 8 rows for your uh, female line that is your male sterile line. And also you have to make sure that the field is uh, or the plants are grown in a, in a perpendicular direction to your wind. So your wind direction must be perpendicular to this field. So we can we have to make sure that the angle is at 90 degree. So this will ensure maximum cross pollination between this A line and R line. So that's all about this advances in hybrid seed production of rice. So in next lecture we will be seeing about maize. Thank you.